Hope you're having a great day. I am Burke, and you're watching either Road Odyssey or Angry Buzzard Autos. Hey, glad you could join me on this video. Thank you so much. Please subscribe down below. That is much appreciated. Give any comments as you watch. Now, this video is, of course, about a Corvette and a Trans Am. Both of them are for sale at Main Street Classic Cars in Denison, Texas. They are located just south of the Red River, east of 75 Central, in the downtown area. So... They are very nice people, and I would advise if you like these cars or know somebody who might, please notify and please get involved quickly because these cars at this dealership really do not stick around. They are sold fast. Uh, they often have extremely competitive pricing, so anyway... Be sure and check them out. You can see all this out on their Facebook page. So remember, Facebook page, Main Street Classic Cars. And also remember that this is where Twisted Ink is, their brand new little print shop. So check that out as well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is a 2003 50th Anniversary Corvette Convertible Indy Pace Car Edition. It is like new, in excellent condition. It is show quality, $29,500, 14,809 miles. It has Corsa exhaust chrome accents on the engine and the decals are not decals they are hand painted graphics Is this Corvette worth at least $29,000? According to Edmonds, just a convertible 2003 in outstanding condition is just under $29,000. Hemmings found this one for about $30,000 being a 50th anniversary. And although this is a C6, it is an Indy Pace car. 
just under or at $27,000. So in my mind, twenty nine grand for the 50th anniversary pace car edition, yes, it's got to be worth about twenty nine grand. Here we have a 1978 Pontiac Trans Am for $25,900. Blue paint and black interior. This thing is gorgeous. Is this Trans Am worth about $26,000? It might be. I ran across this JD Powers evaluation and it's showing about $22,000. And then Auto Trader, it just had a bunch of them that were around twenty-five dollars to $26,000. Now this really depended on the mileage and the condition so most of these that were about $25,000 or less probably had over 80 to 100,000 miles on them. All right, that'll do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below as well. Thank you very much. And give any comments as to what you think about all this good stuff. Now, before I end the video completely, uh, the clips that are coming up next are just one night this week had a large tarantula crawling all over me uh, as all the lights were off and my wife and I were watching a movie. Uh, saw the cat kind of buzzing around me a little bit and I felt down, felt something fuzzy and I thought it was the cat's tail but as I looked a little more closely the cat had moved to my other side and so I was wondering well what is this fuzzy thing that I'm petting and as it turned out it was a fairly good sized tarantula and so after that released the tarantula and started noticing other critters around the house we do live in a 1897 Victorian home and it's got a lot of openings because it's creaky and old and haunted. So anyway, so here's a little bit of that to end out this video. So I appreciate y'all coming and visiting me on, on this video. And y'all just have a great day. Relax, take it easy, and I will see you later. Bye. A tarantula crawling on me. Oh Our cat was buzzing around me. And the next thing you know, I had this big old tarantula. You can kind of see how big it is. So, oh, there's our cat watching it. I think this is the second tarantula we've had in the house. Is that right? Because we had one out in the hallway. Did you say it just eat that food? Mm -hmm. Well, we're really having the bugs come out tonight. First, I had a tarantula on me. Now we get this praying mantis playing at the back kitchen window. Evidently, he's hungry for some good morsels. Oh, and then right up here, see, there's a little gecko. There he goes. Oh, there's one right there. See? So there's another one right there. 
and let's see they usually oh there's one right up in the crack uh, let's see if I can there he is right there can you kind of see him by the little mud dauber's nest 